This right here is an 8 port gigabit switch by TP-Link. I'm going to be using this as a basic work group switch where I'm going to be connecting up multiple devices and endpoints to this so they can all have network connectivity on the local area network. <laughs> comes with the installation guide which is basically plug and play in my opinion and here's the workgroup switch itself now let me say this is by far smaller than what I have anticipated the size to be so it's a very low profile you can even mount it to the wall or to a specific desk or bookshelf using screws here is the power adapter you can plug it into the side so it does not conflict with other power sources on an outlet. Now see this switch right here, I wanted to make sure supports a specific function and that's MDIX. And what that's going to allow it to do, to do is to detect the type of cable connection that is being used and automatically convert that cable connection if there's differences between the types of category 6 cabling. For example, my house is currently wired in a type A connection which is a government standard but it actually swaps two color types in the CAT6 cabling whereas regular patch cables that you would buy online are a type B so this is going to sort that connection out and establish it automatically so I basically have two computers I have one right here and I also have one right over here behind those two monitors is also a network printer so what I need to do is I need to hook up all of these endpoints and get them all somehow plugged into one data port which is under the desk right over there. So what we're going to do is I'm going to install a switch there and after doing so I'm going to show you how to hook up that workgroup switch. So we have the workgroup switch right here. We have the AC adapter for it which I'm going to plug into a power source. And this is just another endpoint that I need to have plugged into this thing for network connectivity. I'm going to plug one end of the AC adapter into the workgroup switch and plug the other end into the power source. So right here, power is being provided to it. We're going to go ahead and plug in one of the appliances. Here you'll see that there is a network link light. That's just letting you know, hey, there is actual connectivity. The next thing I'm going to do is I need to provide this switch with network connectivity. So I'm going to plug in what is called the uplink cable. The uplink cable is just your standard CAT5E or CAT6 or CAT6A cable. And it doesn't matter which port you plug into on the switch. There we go, we get another link light. Now I need to get the other two computers plugged into the switch for network connectivity. So you can actually turn it around here so the lights aren't facing you. So it's, not, it's like you don't really notice it. So here's the last computer that I need to plug into this. Getting another link light. So we have four link lights showing that there's positive connectivity. And I have four more ports. So this can actually take quite a bit of appliances seven total because one has to be used for the uh, uplink so all this is connected and what's cool is that this is facing backwards now where you're not seeing all the lights blinking there also is a light on the top which will show you an indication that the switch has power